Hi there. Welcome to File Stack Tutorials and FAQs. My name is Alex, and today I'm going to be going over the background of the company, what we can offer, and how you can utilize our powerful file uploading, file manipulation, and content delivery APIs to further enhance your own applications or websites. But before we get into our products, let's go ahead and get into our background really quick. FileStack wasn't always FileStack. Originally founded as FilePicker by four MIT students looking to take the file uploading market by storm, FilePicker quickly exceeded expectations and actually won a $100,000 grand prize at the MIT 2012 Entrepreneurship Competition. Just less than a year later, they would reach 10 million files uploaded with 20 plus cloud sources. And a little bit less than a year than that, they would reach 100 million files uploaded with 32 supported languages and become widely recognized as the number one dev tool for uploads. Shortly after that, Amazon and Google, Amazon in 2014 and Google in 2015, would have their own custom integrations made for FilePicker. Finishing out the year of 2015, FilePicker would work on its transition to rebrand itself as FileStack to create the company that you know today. But let's go ahead and take a little bit of a look at our products first to see how we can help your website or application grow. So, not only do we have our JavaScript API, but we also have the Ruby, Python, React, and PHP plugins and libraries for your utilization. But for our purposes of this video, let's go ahead and take a look at the JavaScript API. Navigating to our JavaScript API, you'll be able to work with some of our example pick code, which when you hit run, will open up the default version of our picker. This default picker will have a few sources you'll be able to pull files from. Specifically, your Dropbox, Google Drive, Instagram, and Facebook will be able to be integrated with our API, allowing you to authenticate into them and select files. Alternatively, you could use the web search, link URL, or your local device. From your local device, you can drag, drop, and copy and paste files. Alternatively, simply clicking the center of the modal will allow you to select pictures from your local device. Grabbing this spaceship, I'm not going to upload him just yet. Let's see what transformations come with our picker. With our two cropping tools, I'm going to go ahead and select our circle crop and use that to cut out a picture of our spaceship. Hitting save and then finishing the transformation process, I'll go ahead and upload the spaceship. But let's say I want to see what that looks like on a browser after it's been uploaded. Going to the metadata provided and taking the URL portion, copying it and making a new tab in your browser, you'll be able to view your file. Going back to our pick code and refreshing the page, I'm going to go ahead and work with some of the other parameters that aren't immediately shown. So let's say that I'm a startup in Poland. I'm definitely going to want to have my language in Polish. So adding the language parameter, I'm going to add Polish, one of our supported languages, and let's say I want something a little bit more specific. I want all of my files to upload as soon as I select the last file. So grabbing this parameter, the start uploading when max files is reached, this is normally set to false, moving it up to your picker and putting it in there, changing the value of false to true, we'll have my final file that I select of five uploading all of them. So let's test this out, hitting run, you'll notice that the language has been changed to Polish for our picker. Let's go ahead and utilize one of our sources really quick. So let's go to Facebook and let's authenticate in. Now that I'm in Facebook, let's go ahead and select some pictures from a custom folder. Now on this fifth picture, I'll be able to select it and all of these files will upload. So hitting that, all my files go through the upload process and bam, all the metadata for every one of the files appears just below the sample code. And with that, we're going to go ahead and end the short tutorial. If you had any questions or concerns regarding the video, or had any content that you would like to see shown in videos in the future, please feel free to reach out in the email shown below. We've also included a link to our documentation in case you would want to work more with our example code that we've shown in the video. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. We hope you all enjoyed the video. Have a great rest of your day or evening. See you guys next time.